What is up everybody? In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to turn a flat sheet of cardboard into a perfectly good shipping box. Let's do it. One of the first things you wanna do when you're preparing to make a box is you wanna figure out the dimensions of the items that you're going to ship. So you wanna lay them out and try and get them as flat as possible. So let's go ahead and do this. You also wanna keep in mind that you want to use your packing material to make sure that your dimensions are as accurate as possible. So we'll measure the length first. We're looking at 21 inches. The width, 10 inches. And the height, two inches. Next, sketch up the layout for the template. The length is 21 inches and the width is 10 inches. Since the height of this item is two inches, we need to extend out two inches all the way around the box to account for this. To determine the width of the long flaps, you take the width of your item, 10 inches, and divide that by two. This will ensure that when folded up, it will cover the entire surface. For the length of the inside flaps, I typically do four inches. To determine the total length and width, simply add up the dimensions of the item, accounting for the height as well as each flap. This will give you the overall length and the overall width for the template that we're about to cut out. Once you've got your dimensions figured out, the next step is to cut out a template that you can use to make these boxes more than once. Now, I don't have a big enough workspace to do this on my bench top, so I do do this on the floor, and that's why I've got my trusty knee pads because I'm an old man and that's how I need to do things. Utilizing the drawings I just did, I begin marking the dimensions on the sheet of cardboard. I start with the outside dimensions of 33 inches and 24 inches. I recommend putting a piece of scrap cardboard under your cut piece to prevent damaging your blade or the surface that you're cutting on. Next, I mark my cutoffs to make the flaps at five inches in length and six inches in width. Now that we have our template cut out, it's time to score the edges along the box where it will fold in on itself. Now remember that the height of this box is two inches, so the gap along all of the edges will be two inches. Now I use a scoring tool to accomplish this, but if you don't have one of these, you can use a box knife. You just wanna make sure when you're scoring these that you're not going all the way through, so you obviously don't want to ruin your template. All right, so there you have it, a quick and easy way to make your own shipping boxes. This really comes in handy when you have unusually shaped items or if you can't find a shipping box to fit your needs. As always, if you like this video and wanna see more, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button below, and we'll see you next time.